For those of you with better things to do, I subscribe to the Detroit Free Press so that you can hear this kind of news when it pops up. General Motors is working on an electric crate motor. Apparently, it's going to come out this year to rival Ford's electric crate motor. You know what they're doing? They want you to convert your internal combustion engine vehicle into an electric one. It's an interesting idea, and it's starting to take off in the United States right now. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Today is an amazing day for one reason. It's another great day on planet Earth. I mean, we've got another day on this planet at this time in history. Imagine if you had a boy been born a thousand years ago. What would life have been like? I mean, imagine if you were born, you know, 200 years ago. What about 10,000 years ago? Yeah, life is pretty damn good. Just think about how good we've got it. And now you can get an electric crate motor, take out your ancient dinosaur internal combustion engine and replace it with new modern technology. And I think this is going to be a big thing. It's already becoming a big thing with sports cars like Porsche 911s, even old classic Mustangs now getting around with electric crate motors. Some people think this is, you know, something that shouldn't be happening. I, for one, love it. Let me know what you think about it. So what are GM actually doing? Well, General Motors have called their electric crate motor, the Electric Connect and the Cruise E-Crate package and seen as a future business opportunity. Chevrolet Vice President Scott Bell told the Detroit Free Press recently, GM are thinking of every possible way they can make money out of uh, the future for cars because Frankly, they're a little bit stumped. GM actually said recently, they claim that they can make 125 US dollars from every one of you GM owners in the United States per month, just in services. Uh, you know, um, they didn't exactly say what services, but I want to know, do you, would you be willing to pay General Motors 125 US dollars a month for subscription services? I mean, that's like having five Netflix subscriptions, but giving all that money to GM per month for things like, I don't know, uh, Wi-Fi, over the air heated seats. Um, anyway, who knows? I wanna know what you think. However, getting back to General Motors E-Crate Motor, which I love. It's a package of components, say GM, for use on vintage General Motors vehicles. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a GM vehicle. You can use it in any car. But GM is not yet specifying which vehicles will be compatible with the E-Crate. Obviously, there's gonna be a fair bit of work needed, no matter which car you have. So yeah, it's not gonna be really that simple, I don't think. But that said, that said, electric vehicles are incredibly simple, really. So it might not be that difficult. GM said, we've done spectacular, maybe he meant to, they meant to say spectacularly, with what we call crate engines in old cars, putting new V8 internal combustion engines in older cars to make them more reliable and perform better. Now we have that same group of people working on EV conversion kits for classic cars. Now Chevrolet first introduced a concept of the E-Crate back in 2018. So they've been working on this for four years and it's still not actually for sale yet. They brought out new iterations of the concept in 2019 and 2020 and they were supposed to start rolling it out to market in late 2021. But as GM is, uh, as is often the case with General Motors lately, uh, it's still in development, still taking time. Ford Motor Company though, on the other hand, launched an EV crate version motor last year. The technology will soon be available through Chevrolet Performance, said Mark Lubin, GM spokesperson. This specific offering is part of GM's larger strategy to provide EV component sets to a variety of different industries and applications outside of GM's product portfolio. GM's initial project timeline for the retail e-crate program has been delayed by the same broader supply chain issues which are being experienced throughout the industry, he said. So what's it actually going to be? Well, this is what we know so far. GM's electric conversion kit will be a holistic package of components needed to do a conversion to electric, Libyan said. It also will provide customers 
with access to the resources required to do a conversion as well as installation, training, aspects that differentiate in the marketplace. So GM isn't gonna just sell you this conversion kit and say, see ya. They're gonna actually tell you how to use it, how to make it work. Maybe give you some video tutorials on how this whole system will actually go into your car. Now in November, Ford introduced its Illuminator electric crate motor, which it called the first of its kind to be engineered, developed and offered by an original equipment manufacturer. The Illuminator was priced very cheaply at $3,900 US dollars, but that doesn't include the traction inverter control system and the battery. It still seems like a bargain. I've seen similar kits to this for around $40,000 US dollars selling in the US right now. Crazy prices. And people are actually buying them. Ford spokesperson said deep, confirmed on Monday that Ford has sold out of the Illuminator. So you can see it's very popular, but he did not immediately provide a figure as to how many were made and how many were sold. He did say this though, we sold out right out of the gate and the demand for our kit continues to outstrip supply. We're excited about what we have planned next. Stay tuned, clearly Ford working on a version two of it, which will be even better than the existing version. Now Ford's Illuminator weighs 205 pounds delivers 281 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque, and generates a maximum speed of 13,800 RPM. The Illuminator crate engine package includes a high-voltage motor-to-traction inverter harness, low-voltage harness connector, and vent tube assembly, Ford Performance website says. Now, people are saying, right, that these vehicles, these drivetrains will last longer than human beings. I don't know if that's true, but that's what they claim. If people are going to modify them to EV drivetrains, but do it in such a way that they can be brought back to their original modification, that's the best way. It avoids people trying to build their own system and hack up a car, says Ford. However, there's one big problem with Ford's system. It's been criticized by a lot of the industry. Now, apparently, Ford's system doesn't actually have, it has a motor, but it doesn't have a controller. And that's a key part required to make the conversion of an internal combustion engine to an electric vehicle actually works. So if you buy Ford's kit, it won't work. You've got to go and find an aftermarket controller. In fact, aftermarket companies that are doing these conversions for people who buy this Ford motor, say you've got to spend an additional 20,000 US dollars in parts to actually get Ford's crate e-motor to work. Doesn't really sound like a system to me. I believe General Motors version plans to solve that and actually give you a complete system. So it could be a lot better than Ford's version. So what are the pros and cons here? Well, Mark Davis, president of Moment Motor Company in Austin, Texas, said that he's had extensive conversations with General Motors and Ford about their electric vehicle conversion packages. Why? Because people want to know about them. The allure of what they're doing is that it would offer Moment Motor a fully integrated system of motor and parts needed, which would bring down labor costs and lower prices for customers. Clearly, there's a lot of customers wanting this right now. We might be able to get our hands on original equipment manufacturer quality product, which is attractive. Right now, the conversion industry is working with lots of niche manufacturers. We have to get motors and converters from this company, and then we have to combine it with battery modules from another company and stitch it all together. Sounds complicated and expensive. And because of that, it takes months to actually convert an internal combustion engine vehicle into an electric one and it requires a lot of labor, therefore the price goes up a lot. To convert a classic Camaro muscle car to all electric would cost a customer right now about 70,000 US dollars for parts and 50,000 US dollars for labor for a total of over $120,000. That sounds ridiculous in my view. Surely we can bring those costs down. But with an all-inclusive kit from General Motors, the cost of equipment might fall to $30,000, meaning a saving of $40,000. And the cost of labor would be costs in half, bringing the total cost down to 55,000 from the current 120,000. So much, much cheaper. I mean, looking at a saving of well over 50%. Now it's really interesting to see this happening in the market right now, to see petrol heads, motor heads, you know, people who are just right into gasoline vehicles saying, you know what, nah, I want, it. I want to convert this to electric. I'm going to go and spend 120 grand to do so. 
Now imagine when it costs 55,000 to do so. Imagine when it costs 20,000 to do so. That will happen. It's only a matter of time. Frankly, the future looks so exciting. So many choices, so many options. That's what I love about living right now. It's awesome. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.